Hi everybody, welcome back for week two of Magnets. I really hope you've enjoyed the last week. I hope you've had fun with doing all of the experiments and the activities and the art projects. I really hope that you're looking forward to another fun-filled week where we can finish off our magnet unit. Uh, before we start, I just want to make sure everybody remembers what a magnet is and is caught up and knows what we're doing. So boys and girls, what is a magnet? Shout it out. That's right. A magnet is an object that attracts metals. These metals can be, what are they? Iron and steel. Very good. So I hope you guys have all been doing the experiments and you have found your refrigerator magnet. Remember, that's that magnet that has, oh, I dropped it, that black circle on the back. And this is actually a ceramic magnet. Some of you might also have other magnets at home. And if you do, that's fantastic. Either way, as long as you are exploring and figuring things out, you guys are doing a great job. If you guys have any projects or anything that you want to send to me, I'd really love to see them. Anything you're doing, just keep me in the loop. I'm really, really excited. I want to see how much fun you guys are having learning about magnets. So what are the two things that magnets do? Do you remember? They attract and they repel. They attract and they repel. Attract means they push together and repel means they pull apart. Very, very good. So what we're going to do is before I start my experiment, I just have one of my magnet wands and I want to see if you guys did this activity at home. You guys were supposed to make a busy jar and a busy jar is a container that is filled with different things that would attract a magnet. In this case, mine is filled with paper clips and it's also filled with different magnetic uh, chips. And when I take my magnet, it actually attracts them and moves them around. Everywhere my magnet goes, the paper clips follow. And same thing with my refrigerator magnet. If I grab onto it, look at that. They lift around and you can actually, it's pretty cool, you can hear them moving around. It's almost like when you shake it and you hear that sound, the same sound goes when you move them around, which is really cool. So if you made your busy jar, uh, I really hope you're having a great time playing with it and exploring the different things that you could put in it to make your magnet attract those items. So for our experiment, this is called three spoons. And for this experiment, you are gonna need, guess what? Three spoons. You're going to need a wooden spoon. You're going to need a plastic spoon and you're going to need a metal spoon. Now, this is really easy, and I know you guys are gonna have absolutely no trouble figuring out this experiment. The idea is, we have to answer the question, which spoon is gonna stick to our magnet? Now, this should be super simple. Do you think it's gonna be the wooden spoon? Do you think it's gonna be the plastic spoon? Or do you think it's going to be the metal spoon? Let me give you a second to think about it because hopefully it's really easy. Hmm, let's all shout it out. Which one is it gonna stick to? The metal spoon. Very good because we learned that magnets attract metal. Is a wood spoon made out of metal? Hmm, no, I'm pretty sure it's called a wood spoon because it's made out of wood. So let's test it out. Let's stick our magnet to it. And if I let go of this wood spoon, what's gonna happen? Oh, it falls right down. Same thing if I use my wand. If I let go of the spoon, oh, it fell down again. So does the wood spoon attract our magnet? The answer is no. Very good. All right, let's check out our plastic spoon. Do you think it's gonna attract? No way. Let's check it out. We put our magnet on and we drop it, whoop, nope, doesn't stick. Let's try our refrigerator magnet. Put it on, drop the spoon, and nothing. Again, it doesn't stick to our magnet because is a plastic spoon made of metal? No, you're right, very good. All right, let's move to our last one, that metal spoon. Is this one going to stick to our magnet? Is our magnet going to attract this spoon? What do you think? Yes, very good. All right, so we're gonna hold on to our wand and oh, look at that. It 
attracts. This spoon is made out of metal and we learned that metal attracts magnets and magnets attract metals. So this spoon, no matter what, is going to stick to our magnet because it's made out of metal. Same thing with our refrigerator magnet. Now our refrigerator magnet might not be as strong and this spoon is really big, but if we do it very carefully, ah, it sticks. Look at that. So our metal spoon, guess what? Sticks to magnets. Very good because of the lesson we learned that magnets attract metals. Very good boys and girls. So. I hope you have all three of these spoons somewhere in your house. If not, you can find anything that's made out of wood, anything that's made out of, out of plastic, and then anything that's made out of metal. And try and see if you can get your magnets to stick any, to any of them. And what will happen? Will they fall? Will they attract? What's going to happen? You guys are the scientists, so have fun. Walk around your house, find things that are made out of these three materials, and go crazy. See what happens. Good luck, and I hope you guys are enjoying this activity, and I'll be back soon for another one. All right, we'll see you later.